guys, how is everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great day today. I'm having a fabulous day. You guys already know it's ground, so that means it's kitchen talk time. So let's just hop into it, okay? Finally, 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 they have finally put together the cast 16 of, of Housewife, Atlanta Housewife. It has been going on for months. I mean, it's been all kind of names being thrown out there, who come and who not going to return. And I mean, off the bat, which it still took a few months, you know, it was confirmed that Candy's not coming back. Marlo's not coming back. Uh, Sonya's not coming back. Uh, Sheree is not coming back. Now, Sheree, they was kind of keeping out there on the, on the, on the limb for a minute. They were saying that she might come back as a friend, which I didn't think Sheree was going to go for that anyway, but you know, she wanted to be a peach holder. And I didn't think she was just going to step back down to just being a friend when she just made it back to being a peach holder. So I didn't see that happening. So I guess they could negotiate the monies and all that kind of stuff when it came to her. And, I, and, I, and I'm not really going to miss um, Sheree. Sheree, to me, my opinion, she didn't really bring a whole lot to the table. I mean, as if you remember, on, on the last season, season 15, her storyline was her and her boyfriend, Martel Holtz, from Love and Marriage Huntsville. Um, that was their storyline. And, and, you know, it was rumored out there during that time that they was using each other as a storyline. They was just kind of using each other to make themselves relevant on the show. Uh, and it kind of looked that way now. It kind of looked that way, you know. And the only reason that Martell is still on Love and Marriage Hunt still because he just continually to stir the pot with Melanie. And they like that drama part of it over on that show. You know, he don't really bring anything to, the, to, to that show. But, you know, it is what it is when it comes to that. But yeah, they finally did it, you know, and, and did the lineup. We all know that Portia's coming back. They really have been focusing in on her and really talking about her. And it's a really big deal because, you know, she's going through this divorce with Simon, which is so messy, 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 messy. I don't know how much of that we will get to see on the show uh, because according to the, the, the social media world, Simon is against it. He is fighting it. He's uh, having issues with production and not wanting to, I guess, sign off on, on her being able to talk about this messy divorce that they're going through and all this kind of stuff. I, I saw on social media where he is talking about suing production company and all this kind of stuff. So I don't know how much she's going to be allowed Portia to really talk about or bring to the to the front, the front um, about her relationship with with Simon. I don't know. There's so much going on with that. So we'll have to wait and see how that go. Uh Kenya will be back. Um no surprise. I like Kenya. You know, she's good T V. Kenya is really good T V and she needs someone else to help her to kind of carry the the show. And I, and I believe Portia will bring her part. She's gonna bring it, but I don't know how much of her messiness with the divorce she's gonna be able to bring. Uh Drew, um I'm a little surprised Drew is coming back because she was, to me, beginning to start become a little boring uh, with her and Ralph and they own off, own off, own off, own off and all that kind of stuff. But Drew is coming back. Shamil is coming back. Uh, this time, Shamil will actually have a peach. You know, she's been a friend to the show for years, but uh, she's going to actually have a peach this time. Sonya is not coming back and I figured she would probably take some time to really focus in, you know, she just had her baby a while back. And so I, I, I kind of figured she would take that time to focus on her, you know, her family and stuff like that. Um, they are bringing back, they are bringing in three new ladies. I don't know anything really about these ladies. Um, really, I never even heard of these ladies. Uh, they're bringing in Angela Oakley. She's the wife of um, Charles Oakley. Um, and she's also a real estate agent in Atlanta. So she's coming on the show. Uh, they're bringing Brittany Edith on the show. She's a podcast author, entrepreneur, you know, so I don't really know anything about her. They're bringing Kelly Farrell on the show. She's a restaurant owner. She's been on Food Network and different things like that. 
So kind of, you know, interesting to see exactly what those young ladies are going to be bringing um, to the show and how exciting they're going to make it with, you know, what their storylines are going to be and, you know, and how, you know, how much they're going to be showing and bringing out and stuff. So I don't know. Um, I would definitely uh, tune in for the first couple of episodes just to kind of see, you know, what's what and how, you know, how they're interacting, how they're going to break off into their little friend zones. Because, you know, on these reality shows, you always get different groups you know regardless if they're supposed to be one cast they're always they're always separated into their little friend zones and stuff like that so i don't really know um you know how they're gonna pair off everybody or everybody's gonna pair off with each other and who's gonna come out with their come out throwing the punches and you know out of the gate and all that so um i don't know but i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna give it a chance i'm gonna check it out and see um you know how it works and stuff. I, I like I said, I um, kind of interested in, in being nosy about the Porsche thing, and I really kind of, you know, wanted Sheree to at least pop in there because you know all the stuff that was that's been going on social media that she's been hanging out with Simon and all this stuff, and up until um, Portia and Simon started going through this divorce thing, I, I didn't even know that Sheree was that tight with Simon. You know, before then, I never saw any pictures of her and Simon just hanging out or being friends or even, you know, hanging out with Portia because her husband Portia was definitely not the the best of friends when they was uh, on the housewife. So I wanted to see Portia, you know, get into her butt and stuff and question her on these moves she's been making, you know, with Simon since his divorce is going on. And I kind of thought that's what Sheree would come back as a friend, just as third apart between Simon and um and Portia. But I guess with all this stuff going on, she that opportunity wasn't there for her because like I say, if Simon is fighting a uh, production of, of uh, not wanting to sign off on whatever he needs to sign off on, then that would not, you know, she would not be able to use that as a storyline. So I guess that's what happened with that. Uh, Cynthia is coming back as a friend. I was kind of shocked about that because um, I saw somewhere where Cynthia had said she had outgrown the housewife. She had no reason to come back to the housewife. You know, she wanted to focus on her acting career and I think she's been doing pretty good out there getting different roles and stuff like that so I was kind of shocked because once she left when her and Mike got married she said several times that you know she was not returning to the housewife she had no reason to it had put her where it needed to put her and she had no reason to come back so eh, I don't know I guess I'll just have to wait and see who she gonna be friends, friends with? Cause I think her and Kenya was friends, you know, throughout the different episodes. Once her and Nene kind of split up their friendship, I think she's in Cynthia. I mean, her and uh, Cynthia and Kenya became closer friends and stuff like that. So I guess she'll be, you know, with Candy, uh, with uh, Kenya, and they'll, you know, pick and choose whoever else they want to bring into their little group and stuff. And then, you know, of course, it was rumored that um, Nene would be coming back as a friend. I I knew that wasn't going to happen. I, mm -mm, mm -mm. Nene definitely feels like uh, she has outgrown it. And if, if she came back, she would be a peach holder. I just did not see her coming back as a friend. Because who would she be friends with? She don't get along that good, I think, with Kenya. Uh, her and Portia in it in kind of, you know, bad terms. Her and Cynthia definitely had split up. And I don't think she really deals with Drew or Shamil. But, you know, years has passed and people has changed and gotten older and hopefully a little bit more wiser. <laughs> so maybe she's friends with some of these girls. She actually had said, I think a, a, a little while back, her and Portia supposed to have been doing the upshows. But then something went wrong. She said Portia didn't do it because Portia was mad because she was out with her boyfriend and Simon and Simon was with the other lady and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So, I I, uh, I don't know what's, what's what, you know. It's just be, it, it, oh, Lord, these, these, these reality shows, it's drama, drama, drama. So, I don't know. But I am going to, you know, 
sit back and, and, and give them a shot, give them a chance. I try to support uh, these different uh, reality shows, especially when it comes to um, the cast being mostly um, us and stuff. So I'm gonna see how this work and how, how this, how this um, go. <laughs> I'm gonna see how this go. Cause you know, just being nosy, I do wanna know what's going on in these people's lives because it's entertaining and that's what they're getting paid to do to entertain us you know what i don't want to see um this season is a lot of cat fighting i don't want to see that i, I want to see what these women's doing business wise and on their entrepreneurship um journey how what they're doing for the community you know and how they're just building a healthy relationship with each other I mean, really, that's what I want to see. I want it to be fun. I want it to be enjoyable. I mean, you might can throw jabs and be shady here and there, and there's nothing wrong with being shady. But when they get to the point where you're catfighting and, and, and all that, I don't, I don't like to see that. I don't like to see women um, really belittling each other to the, to the point that it's just, it doesn't, it's, it's just not good. It's not healthy. So I'm hoping that this new crew, everybody fits in. And of course, you know, everybody not going to be tight, tight, you know, and that's just understandable because it's just life in general. You know, you have certain people that you just really click with and get along with. Then you have people that you can be social with or quarrel with, you know, you can, you can, you can tolerate being around them and just have a good time. You know, that's, that's okay. But what I don't like, and that's any of these franchises, when they get to the point where they just up in each other's face and ready to throw punches, I don't like to see that. I don't like to see that because it's just a bad look. You know, it, they already kind of brand women as being hostile towards each other or jealous of each other and can't get along. And that's just not true. It's just not true. So we'll see, you know, I mean, these women that they're bringing in, these new women, Angela, Brittany, and Kelly, they all have uh, their own stature already and their own thing that's going on. And like I said, I don't know anything about them. So just kind of like leave the door open, you know, for me to kind of feel them and get a feel of, of what they what they bring into the table. So we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. I don't even know when the first episode is supposed to come on, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be within the next few weeks or so since they've got the cast together. Okay. All right. Well, that's it. I just want to throw that out there about the housewives. Y'all can be preparing yourself and getting ready to check them out, you know, and, and, and make your own opinion from there. You know, don't start reading all the stuff that's going to be popping up in the bras and all that. Give it, give it a chance, check it out, and then make your opinion about it. Okay. All right. Well, I'm about to get up out of here, guys. I got to go get this hair braided. So you guys have a great day. Be kind to everybody and just enjoy the moments. Enjoy the small moments as they come. Check you guys out next time around.